What is success? Well, I don't think success is measured in dollars. I, I really don't. I know plenty of people that have made the pursuit of money their life goal. But as money becomes worth less and less, I'm calling that a bad investment. And I've known people whose pursuit was their passion. People who would do what they do for free. I mean, compare the success of different brands. We've all seen them. Many of you can spot them right out of the shoot. The brands that trend in and trend out. A million starts a day. I can't even remember their names. And now compare them to the ones who have a story. A story you can get behind. Think Matrix, Arnie Miller. Think, believe, dream, dare. Hairdressers for hairdressers. He had a passion, he had a vision that hairdressers could take control of their industry. Crazy, right? Back then, corporations controlled our industry. Non-industry salesmen out in the street talking to each other about how stupid hairdressers were. It's true. I was there. I mean, think Kevin Murphy. He wasn't pursuing the creation of a brand. He had a vision. And if you don't know the origins of Veda, Euphora, Paul Mitchell, I mean, look them up. They all had a passion that had nothing to do with money. I mean, I personally knew many of these founders. I had the great fortune to be there right at the beginning of their stories. I mean, they moved people with their vision. They moved distributors. They moved salespeople who moved stylists, who moved consumers. Pursuing their passion, they poured money back out, never stopping to count the pennies. Success is inevitable. What if stylists and salon owners could be that? Inspirational. And clients and stylists just want to be around you. You know, none of the previously mentioned dreamers had any problem attracting the best people to their industry. You want success? Try connecting and reconnecting with the core principles, the dream. To the stylists that are listening right now, maybe, maybe as a stylist, you did come in to, just to get rich and maybe you did. And if so, I'll venture to say that you may be in the group that is just making a living, but I know tons of you, tons of you who, who have visions for your business. You've told me about all the changes that you were going to make. You were going to build a salon that hairdressers would thrive in. When you were queen, things were going to be different. Communicate that passion to your community. That's how reputations build themselves and reputations build authority and authority always gets attention. To my reckoning, there are too many industry pros who want to be the best stylist and not enough wanting to be the best person. You'll only ever be as good as your last haircut. People need better reasons to come to you and they'll stay with you. I mean, it's a vicious cycle in our industry, doing what everybody else is doing, but trying to do it better. And that used to work, but it doesn't work anymore. I mean, people, they're looking for more meaning. They're not looking for a great haircut. Millions of people discovered over the lockdowns that they didn't blow up when they couldn't get in to see you. And you need to give people better reasons to come and see you. And I think that success is going to be tied to your better reasons, not to the money that you're pursuing.